Good evening, YouTube. This is Bina Martinez coming to you on Dual TV, also known as Katrina. So, I have an update. I finished two garments for National Sewing Month, and one of those is the Sassy Librarian box. So, I also want to um, quick update. I also want to let you know that everything that I'm going to be making, I'm not going to show you to the end of the month. So, I'm going to let the beat build, let the suspense build to the end of the month, and you'll see how I look at all the garments that I have come up with. Excuse me come up with so without further ado so the first blouse I made is um, a simplicity blouse and I got this fabric from this store called happy happy shop and this was just a dollar yard and it has samples written on it I mean stamped on it so I just washed it and you can't even see it nowhere on it but this is a vintage inspired blouse I did do a boo-boo and they called for a, a, um, a ankled collar but I messed up Yes, I messed up. I'm not perfect. I messed up. I'm going to keep it real. So I did mess up. And so what I did is I just shaped it to be more curved. And um, I have to put a button on it. I haven't put a button on it yet. So um, I'm going to show you the buttons I'm um, currently considering. And all the buttons, I'm also going to try to use vintage buttons if need be. Because I don't want to go out and buy nothing. So this is one button, this blue button. It looks real duh just drop the button or this button but I think this is the one I think I'm gonna dang it sorry the one I think I'm gonna put on is this one because it has texture and I think I really like that one so I think that's the one I'm gonna be putting on this blouse so that's the red blouse so for the sassy librarian blouse I finished that and I did have some hiccups with this one as well so I fixed it and it fits me nice and my daughter really likes it. So this is what it looks like. And that's that Girl Game fabric. And what I did different to this fab pattern because I did a boo-boo on it. Um, I did release pleats in the back instead of regular pleats in the back. So we had the release pleats in the back and in the front. And um, I really like this. The only thing I have to do to eat both of them is put buttons on them and put my labels in them. So um, the buttons that I'm going to use for the sassy librarian blouse are these buttons here aren't they cute so it's six of them i took one of them out just to measure it so and also what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my embroidery machine to sew to make my buttonholes yes i can make buttonholes using my embroidery machine i'll let it do all the work even though i let it do all the work anyway but i can get it more precise and get it done in a quicker time so yes so um what am I going to make next? I have not a clue. So, I have some contenders. So, I'll let you know in the next couple of days what I'm going to be doing um, as far as the next garment I'm going to be making. So, um, here's one. Here's this dress here. I don't know which one I'm going to make. But I know I can use jersey with this. So, I might be use, making this dress. So, because I really wanted to use some jersey. And I did wear jersey um, back in the... 50s and the 60s so that's that dress and then there's this dress and I would want to do this dress right here and this is what it looks like this one on this side see that one and this dress right here remember I told you I want to do some pin tucks so this is a contender as well this one right here and I might not do a full skirt I might do a more form-fitting skirt and this dress right here, and I've actually made this dress before. I'm going to see if I can find a picture and show you what I look like in this dress. So I made this dress a couple of times, but I think I might make one of these, two of these dresses. Either one of these, but might use this one. I don't know yet. And then we have this one. I like this. It's real simple, and I think it would look good. What kind of fabric does it say I can use? Linen, silk linen, print silk, crepe, chiton, popping, creme. Chambray, sateen, canvas, duck, gabardine, and jersey. So I might be making this one. Gonna be a couple of jersey dresses. But yeah. So those are some of the items I think I'm going to be making in the next couple of days. So with that being said, remember I said I was not gonna buy any fabric, I was gonna use what I had. So I apologize in advance. I had a moment of weakness. I saw this fabric at Joanne's today. I just got off work. 
and I was like looking around because I got there early because I had to do something. Uh, I wanted to test something. Um, what I just said about do, sewing, have the embroidery machine do buttonholes for me. So I actually did a sample of that for myself so I could see what it looks like. But yeah, so I bought some fabric. I'm sorry. I had to. I Once you see it, you'll understand I had to buy this fabric. And I have a fingernail, fingernail polish fetish and a fabric fetish. So, without further ado, this is the fabric that I just bought myself today. I bought three yards of this, and this is 100% cotton, and this is an indigo blue on the back, and it's all different kinds of scissors. And I'll, I also have a pair of scissors that looks just like this. But yeah, I had to buy this. So, I don't know if I'm going to be making something from this out of my vintage patterns. Who knows? We'll see. So, um... That's it for now. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Know that God loves you. And I pray that you guys are having a blessed day. And I'm encouraging you, ladies and gentlemen, to be crafty and pick up your sewing. If that's your talent, work with whatever talent that God gave you. So that's what I'm working with is my talent to sew. So, um, yeah. So I pray that, like I said, everybody had a blessed day today. Know that God loves you. Be encouraged. And see you, see you soon.